Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So it's been like a long time since I feel like I've done like a full on like video. Also, I have no voice because I just woke up. Um, but I thought it would be really fun and I don't know, insightful. I feel like people are so curious about my life as a soul cycle instructor. And I was like, I had this like idea one night when I couldn't sleep because that's part of my life. I feel like um, that I was like, oh, I'll do like a full week of being a soul cycle instructor. So it's Monday and I wanted to do more than just like, oh, come to class with me, oh, like whatever. Like I wanna show you like every like part that kind of like goes into being a soul cycle instructor and like our minds and our life and stuff like that. I'm so sorry I sound like this. So it's Monday morning and as you saw, I woke up at 10 o'clock um, because this is one of my only days uh, a week to sleep in and I love to sleep and I love to get a full block of sleep. So um, 10 a.m. sounded fabulous this morning. I woke up at 10 a.m. and then um, right away I posted my schedule on my Instagram stories. So it's Halloween week, it's super exciting. Uh, I have three themes this week, which is actually kind of rare for me because I normally only have like maybe one. Uh, I don't teach a lot of theme rides. It's Monday morning. It's basically like almost 11 a.m. now because um, I just take my time on Mondays. I'm very sad because I just went to make matcha and I'm out. So I need to order that right now because I don't drink coffee. People think I'm insane that I teach at six o'clock in the morning and just in general, like two to three classes a day and I don't drink coffee. But Monday is my most mellow day. It is a day where I get to kind of like plan out my week for not only soul cycle but for content and I haven't been great about that and just like catching up on things really just relaxing um, I really need to start implementing cross training I think on Mondays because I only have one class and it's a really good opportunity for me but we're gonna dive into all the things that I do should be doing all that good stuff so it's like 11 a.m. and I'm making a big breakfast right now and Let's just get on with it. So a week in my life as a soul cycle instructor, you're probably gonna see me in this sweatshirt all week. It's one of our newer sweatshirts. I'm obsessed with it. It's so soft, so comfy, and so cute. Okay, so here we, here we go, people. So this isn't gonna be like a what I eat in a week as well. I feel like that's not productive for what this video is. I am gonna be like talking about what I'm eating because that's a huge part of being a soul cycle instructor because like your body is your business essentially. Here and there I'm gonna be talking about my food but I'm not going to be doing a whole what I eat in a week. But if you do wanna see that video, let me know. Okay, so I do not always eat this big of a meal but because it's literally 11 a.m. and because this is kinda of gonna be like my brunch because I'll probably eat like something a lot later. This is just three scrambled eggs with some cheese in it and then zucchini and peppers because I'm really trying to get better about having more vegetables. Avocado toast and then two little turkey sausage links. I have syrup with my turkey sausage. I don't know if that's weird but I'm just gonna keep it one hundo with you guys all week. I mean, I always do but like I feel like Sometimes I'd be worried like people will be judging me like oh my god. She woke up at 10 a.m. Oh my god She's eating at 11 a.m. Oh my god. She eats syrup like that's not healthy like this is like the nitty-gritty real What I do in a week what gets me through what keeps me sane? With this job and it's not that I need to stay sane with this job. It's just like this job is very physically and emotionally draining and I'm gonna eat syrup with my sausage if I want. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'll see you guys later for whatever's next. Let's get it. Okay, so in DC, a huge part of being a soul cycle instructor is taking care of your body and getting it worked out. So we actually have a PT down here in DC for us full-time instructors, which is incredible. So, um, I take advantage of that. Um, I didn't used to 
do it as much as I do now. So I pretty much have made it like a thing every every other week. Yeah, yeah, every other week. I come down here to DC and I see Ashley, she's our PT. And just kind of tell her like what I'm feeling that week, what I want to work on. She like dry needles us, she can stretch us out, she can like massage us if we need to. Like pretty much whatever. And she works on us, so it's honestly incredible. And I'm so proud of myself because I've made it like two months now of coming every other week, which is good for me. So today I'm probably gonna have her work on either my hips or my lower back because my lower back's been hurting when I've been sleeping, but my hips have just been so tight, obviously, soul cycle. So we'll see what she decides to do, but I definitely don't want to get dry needle today, so I didn't wear shorts so she could dry needle my legs. Haha. <laughs> I was just talking to them about you. So guys, this is Ashley Hi. talking about her. She's going to work me out today. We'll see if I film it or whatever. Perfect. But yeah, she's the shit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better. Oh, my camera's about to die. Um, just much looser, which is the point, which is good. I was sweating like crazy while she was doing that. I don't know why, but I'll see you guys for the next thing. Hi. So you guys are going to see this a lot this week. Me and my computer. i um, making my playlist for 6.30. So this is playlist number one for the week. Um, I already actually picked my go home and stuff. So I'm not going to walk you guys through the process, but I just want you to know it's currently 5.15. I'm going to make sure that I'm done this playlist by 5.35. Um, so let's, let's do it. Ooh, ooh. Another thing that we like to do is, um, listen to our transitions over and over to make sure that they sound right. We don't have awkward lulls. Sometimes it's just a pain because some songs just end abruptly and that's really fun and you want to use them anyway. But and on iTunes, you have to listen to the last 10 seconds. You can't just do the last two. You pretty much change it, at least I do, like every class because it depends. And then you fix it and then you do it again. I like to close my eyes. That was better. And then you do the next song. Six thirty Bethesda. There were some water issues today. Say what's up, everyone. Hello. So I come in and I'm like, hi, this is Danielle. It's her first day at Bethesda. Caroline, where's everybody else? It's Ricky's 250th ride. I'm doing a week in my life as a soul cycle instructor. Carol, Ricky, they're the best. I was looking for Claire, but she's gone. Um, I am. <laughs> Caroline. Um, so. Basically, I get in here, say hello to the staff, go out there, talk to riders, all that good stuff. Get my mic packed, which is already out here because I'm in such a routine. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to mingle. I can't vlog in class. I don't know. People still ask me that. Not allowed. Don't want to. That's not what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get ready for class. We just got these drinks. So, tastes like LaCroix, but it's supposed to be caffeinated from tea. It's Lita. I'm doing a week in my life as a salsa girl check Oh, cool. So I'm doing like all the little things though. So yeah, I'm gonna take my shirt off and put my deodorant on because that's important before class. And um, I'll see y'all after. Okay, class just ended. Um, I wasn't filming when I was talking to riders because that's weird, but you know, do the whole thing, put my shoes there so they dry for 6 a.m. The lights because they're sweaty and gross. I completely forgot to change of clothes, so look at me, I'm a mess. So I like them up, you know. Um, just had kind of a day, and I was just like, you know what? 
let's go 6 30 and i knew that they could handle it and we just went ham and it felt so good especially after i got my hip stretched out it felt so different riding today i was like bless it was so good it was so fun oh you gave me a fright <laughs> you gave me a fright what's that from parent trap okay but uh that's day one pretty much complete until i see you for all the stuff that i have to do to prepare for my 6 a.m tomorrow okay so you guys might think this next part is gross, but it's what I'm working with in this small apartment in our small bathroom. I take my sweaty clothes, and since only I'm over on this side, I lay my disgusting clothes here and let them air dry. It doesn't stink up the living room, surprisingly, but I let them air dry, and then I throw them in my hamper so they're not in my hamper getting all wet, and they're not taking up a ton of space in the bathroom. Um, that's the life of a soul cycle instructor, let me tell you. Stinky, sweaty clothes everywhere. Oh my god. But, um, so yeah, I th throw that over there. I still have my leggings on because I forgot to freaking pack a pair of sweats, which I always do. I don't know why I didn't do that today. But now is when, um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I get a little stressed and anxious because I teach at six o'clock in the morning and it's currently eight o'clock already from like talking to staff, talking to riders, cleaning up, all that good stuff, getting home. Luckily, I live really close to the Bethesda studio, but I still, you know, talk to people and I still, you know, get home rather late. So I usually have an idea of what I wanna have for dinner and tonight we're gonna have like salmon bowls. It's just like, it's a lot. What's up everybody? Back again. It is Tuesday afternoon, late afternoon. I'm leaving for class in about 30 minutes. I have like two more songs I'm adding to my playlist. So here we are. Life of a Soul Cycle Instructor playlists. I meant to show you my outfits for every class, but I don't know if I did this morning. I'm wearing my old little soul leggings. I love these. They have little lightning bolts on them. They're um, aligns, so they're not my fave. And this is just some Adidas bra. Um, and playlist is done and I'm heading out the door. This is the first time this week you guys are seeing me at Clarendon, which is in Arlington. Someone's calling me. Um, but it takes me usually like 45 minutes to get there, so I gotta leave like now. I'm at Clarendon. Hey! Yo! Okay, gotta go set up! 5.45 is done and dusted, y'all. They're decorating. Doesn't it look beautiful? Wait, I'm like, where's the thing? Oh, wow. Um, but yeah. It was awesome. Took out some anger on the bike and it was sick, lit. I can't. Back home and it's dinner time. So I am hopefully getting into Tramel's class tomorrow. How lucky are you guys that the week I decided to do this is the week that Tramel is in DC. So if you don't know anything about Tramel, I will link the video of me doing his soul spotlight. If you haven't seen my soul journey video, um, I talk a lot about Tramel in there. Uh, he's just been super important to me on my soul cycle journey and I really hope I get into his class tomorrow or I'm gonna be devastated. So normally like on Tuesday nights, I chill a little bit more, stay up a little bit later, edit YouTube, things like that. But class is at 8 a.m. So I definitely wanna get there and get a parking spot cause it's in DC. And at that time of the day, oh. I will be going to bed a little bit earlier, but it's a little bit different when you get to show up to class and you're not the one teaching it. Dirty clothes. Enjoy. One more day of not washing my hair. And then I must. I must, I tell you. Okay, guys, I didn't vlog this morning because I was running late, as per usual, but look who's here. Hey, what up? <laughs> oh, that camera official. I'm like, let's get it. Yeah, it is. Tramel's in DC, and obviously I had to wake up and take him, even though she he teaches two classes I mean, obvious, today. Obviously. You know, cool. She body bagged that. <laughs> I thought you teach at 10.30, right? 10.45. 10.45. So I'll be good. Okay. Um, but he's gonna give me some of his bomb music, so mm -hmm. DC Riders roll through. Look at that face. Hey. Nice. Okay. And you'll see him in a vlog soon, because I'm sure I'm gonna visit New York. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. I'll be back out here like next month. So it's like... <gasps> okay. 1045 was great. I like missed updating you guys before when I was like making my playlist and whatever because I was rushing from DC. So that was great, but it was fun. <sighs> I need to eat a lot. 
the real reality after class, oh my god, I'm so pale, is putting on loose clothes because it's nearly impossible to put on anything tight after class. So I'm always bringing like sweats or joggers or something to just take off all my sweaty tight clothes. I put this on. How do I look? I just woke up from another nap. So it's day three of the vlog. That was my second nap. Normally I don't nap on Wednesdays because I can sleep in before my 10.45, but before, because I woke up at seven this morning. Well, I took Jamal's class and then I taught one, but I did want to come on here really quickly and just say um, about Jamal's class that is definitely a part of being a social psycho instructor as well. Not so much just like taking his class in particular, but it should be. It's really important for us instructors to take others' classes. I will say I'm not great about it because, you know, it's, it's hard finding the motivation sometimes. And like, you're like, I teach enough classes of my own during the week, like why would, I? but every time I go take somebody else's class, whether it be Tramel or Sunny or Kathleen or like anybody, like it's just like, uh, it, it just like re-inspires me to do something new, to try something new, to like try new music or anything like that. So it's like really, really important for us instructors to take other people. And I feel like if you guys like see it, it's not just because we're like, I love them and I want to support them. It's just like when you're in a rut or when you feel like do you need a little inspo, you know, we all need to be students as well. And, um, Get inspiration for other people so that's kind of like what this morning was for me and I had something like come up in my life suddenly yesterday it's like really shocking and i feel like i'm still in shock and i feel like i haven't dealt with it and i feel like i won't deal with it until i'm like home home um but i needed Charles class like more than i knew and it just is so crazy that his trip has been planned and things happen and he was here today like i just feel like whenever things go not great for me um Chamel's class is one that just always just lifts me up and makes me feel better and yeah, I don't know. So it is currently almost 4.30. I have to leave here in like an hour and a half and I'm going to sit down and make my rave ride playlist. Uh, I did a rave ride in August at Bethesda and it was so, so fun. So I was like, let's bring it back and it's called Rave from the Grave. The playlist is made and I'm so excited. Literally, um, as of right now, there's 46 songs, three hours worth of music in here. Oh, cute angle. But I had to narrow it down, obviously, and this was already narrowed down. And no repeats from my last two rave rides, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm pumped, I'm stoked, I'm excited. These drops, people are literally gonna just say like, <laughs> but time to get dressed. I'm gonna wear all black and just put body paint all over myself. I'm gonna try to find my soul cycle action. Let's see if I can do this super cool um, transition into my new outfit, ready? Here we are. My little cutout bra. Um, I like the back, it's super cute. It just says soul cycle, love that. Put my little space buns, whatever in. I have my coral fancy pants. I don't know if you can tell, they're super, super shiny. And guys, look what I just found and put on my face. A soul cycle tattoo. Look at it, oh my God. I have to walk into a store with this on my face too. Oh my God. The little L like didn't finish, so it just kind of says so, but you can see the skull. I love it. Okay, here we go. Okay, class is over. We have some confetti, some black light. Look at my glow in the dark in the black light. Isn't that fun? I talked to my vlog, but I'm t I can talk to you guys too. Look at this. Wait, what? I think the stuff on my face rubbed off. My tattoo is still fully intact. But this was so cool in class, and then everyone had their like glow sticks, which are gone, but. Okay, bye. I don't know if I should just leave this on, sleep in it, wear it to my 6 a.m. and have people stare at me. Hmm. Another part of being a soul cycle instructor is just getting home and sitting. You're done! Yeah, well, you're waiting until I start talking every time. You could be doing it right now. We don't have time for this. It's already 8.15. We haven't ordered dinner. I, I teach early is coming home and sitting down and just letting your brain and body relax after everything that just happened. Um, because that was a lot. Black lights, disco balls, confetti, 
uh, I don't even know, but not only that, but it happens. Um, after a lot of classes, I just need a moment. Um, I'll show you guys some other things I do after class. It's the true life of a soul cycle instructor. Didn't that used to be a show? True life, I'm a blah, blah, blah. I don't know, MTV used to have so many shows. I wonder if I'll leave this on for the morning. It's really gross if I do. I'm so hungry. Part, another part of being a soul cycle instructor is being starving most of the time, I feel like. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. Day three, done. Oh, my legs. I'm gonna stretch tonight, I don't know if I'll film it. But... Talk about life of an, an instructor. Laundry, laundry for days. So it's middle of the week. This is probably from maybe Saturday to Wednesday. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pairs of leggings. I still have to stretch and shower. I don't know about other instructors, but I almost always have to grab my chapstick right before I go into class. I don't know what it is. That and deodorant. Another 6 a.m. Check, check. It's Halloween, so I made it like Halloween themed. Played like Monster, and I don't even know what else I played. What else did I play? Remixes of stuff, Thriller. Mm. I'm so tired. 6 a.m. Guys! <laughs> I'm like vlogging. I'm doing a week of my life as a soul cycle instructor. That's classic. Tessa. I don't know if you've been in a vlog before, but we cross over every Tuesday, Thursday morning really fucking early. Really um, early. <laughs> she leaves for her honeymoon today, though, so that's very exciting. Are you subbing? Sorry, no, you know I'm not. Here's a dose of real life for you guys. It's currently... It's like 12 something. 12.20. And... I basically am just now getting out of bed from a nap. I woke up probably an hour ago, but I've been like texting and checking DMs, checking emails in bed because this is just a day where I needed to listen to my body because when I like set my alarm to wake up from my nap, my body was like, no. So that's another part of being a soul cycle instructor. If there are soul cycle instructors out there who don't nap, I'd like, I, I want to know who they are. That's insane to me. Unless they have like another job. I don't even know. But real life naps. Guys, I'm cracking up because it's Halloween and I decided who I wanted to be for Halloween. And I just like, <laughs> I just started putting on my tattoos. Uh, if you know who I am, you know I need to draw the rest of my beard. <laughs> I just cracked up when I pulled off the first tattoo. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I wish I placed it a little bit higher because I have a five head, but whatever. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have to leave in like five minutes, but this is iconic. I cannot. I also have bags under my eyes because I legitimately, I'm just going to keep them. <laughs> I just applied one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tattoos to my face. Well, and to my neck. <laughs> Time to put on the rest of my beard. I'm using this picture as a reference. This is incredible. Okay, so I'm not fixing the flyaways or anything. Here we are. Posty, what's up? I have to put on my outfit, which I don't really have a good one, but um, I'm committed to the face. <gasps> my camera's gonna die. I'm gonna button this up for my picture. It's like post Malone, but make it soul cycle because my bottoms are just leggings and my docks because I think I'm gonna take the picture like close up, obviously, so you can see my face. Oh wait, I can't forget my foil for my teeth and my red solo cup because I can't have Bud Light at cycle, so. Just an open cup, you know, because we know what Posty's about. I really pray that I don't see anybody in the elevator. Oh God, in the clear, no one was in the elevator, thank God. I hate Halloween, but for some reason I was so excited to be. Oh my God, I 
feel like I hear somebody. Oh, so on. <laughs> this is epic. I completely forgot to film at Seoul because uh, it was just really busy with everything with Halloween and stuff like that. So uh, this tattoo probably was ruined the most in class, but I'd say I pretty much stayed intact. I mean, the beard, scary, but this one did really well. They're just really sticky, so things like stick to them and like my hair was getting caught in them. Ow. And I think the sword kind of went away. But anyways, class was so fun. No one really dressed up because, I don't know. I wouldn't either if I wasn't Post Malone. I was just way too excited to be him. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's my off day, which means I don't usually eat great on this night because I don't have to ride bikes early in the morning. Yay. I'm sad to take this off. That's how much I love Post Malone. Oh God. Good stuff, but it was hip hop Halloween and it was so fun. Wow. I love it. Don't teach tomorrow. Five guys for dinner. And there's more guys. Good morning. I look super cute. Um, my under eye bags are out of this world. I'm pale and I need to help that. I have been rubbing this Post Malone Longhorn tattoo off me and my neck is so red. Um, so I'm gonna give that like 10 minutes and then scrape the rest off because um, Gotta go do something, but it is officially my day off. So I slept until about I set my alarm for 9 15 normally I sleep a little bit later, but it just depends. Um, I napped a good bit this week So um, I just have a lot of stuff that I need to get done today um, So my off day usually people ask me um, I try to use it as a complete off day not technically from social media because I can't really like completely like ignore my emails and stuff but sometimes I do um, however I don't do any type of workouts like it's very very rare that I work out on my off day because it's my one day a week that I get rest for my body um, I used to when Bella was around go home on all my off days um, to just see her and my family but today I'm actually going to see my family anyway because my parents leave for Bora Bora a lot of stuff's happened with my family this week in general and um, I want to see them, so I'm gonna go home a little in a little bit. But I have a few things that I need to do first, so I'll show you that. Even on my off day, I'm usually still like working, grinding a little bit, but I do try to use it as like a mental release, and I don't like uh, look at music or anything like that until like later at night. So, oh my god! All right, come along with me on my off day. All of my off days look different. They used to always look the same. It was literally wake up, go home, see Bella, and be there for the whole day. But um, now it just depends. I still do go home a lot because I am close to my family. My sister has a new baby. So, yeah. Lexita's still here. <laughs> We're at SoulCycle. This is Mia. You guys will see me on my vlog. The call. Okay. Well, anyway. And I need a picture for a giveaway I'm doing today. And I'm last minute. So, now's the time. Another thing about being a soul cycle instructor is um, making sure you leave places early. Ew! <laughs> making sure you leave places early because I have to go home and make my playlist. Will, is that right? Don't want to stay up late. Don't want to go out because I have to make my playlist and wake up early. What an efficient. Do you guys like my Walt Disney World circa 1995 sweatshirt? Claire in 9.30 survivor time. I'm like so out of it right now. I need to like wake up. I don't know what's up with me because I got enough sleep. So let's hit it. I don't even remember. This is my eighth class of the week. Yeah, eighth. I'm like, I don't even know. I'm like a mess. And it's freezing outside. I think that's why I'm so out of it. <laughs> uh, what did I just teach? 9.30 survivor done. That's Woo! eight. Class of the week. Woo Guys, I'm fading real quick and I'm not sure why. But I'm gonna go make my 11.45 playlist in the office. I already pulled a lot of songs in the playlist. I feel like this is literally the Soul Cycle Instructor's life is just making playlists a lot. I brought my little snack, some yogurt and blueberries and granola. And let me go change my sweaty outfit and let's get it. 11.45 done, they both doubled. It was 
was fun. So ninth, ninth class of the week, done. This is my outfit. I forgot to show you guys. It's a new Soul Cycle set. It makes your butt look so Wow, thanks guys. <laughs> She's like, fuck that. Um, I forget what I was gonna say, but now that it's 11.45, the life of a Soul Cycle instructor is to go eat a lot. So that's what I plan to do. And maybe even nap, but I don't think I'm gonna nap. I look orange. It's T.W. Courtney. <laughs> What's in your mouth? <laughs> Here's our soul cup wall. People on my team, where are you? For classes taught, I will be here. For classes taken, I will be there. <laughs> or less than that. <laughs> One. Another part of being a soul cycle instructor is for getting extra clothes. So then you have to wear your sweaty, nasty pants home or out and about and feel wet and gross and disgusting. Ew. But here we are, fitness professionals and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's watching me vlog. Okay, bye. I don't know about any other instructors, but this is so real for me. It is currently 5.15 p.m. on a Saturday. I am chilling in bed. I don't know why my cheeks are so rosy. Watching TV, editing stuff on my computer, because I don't wanna go out. It is so rare for me. So, after I teach my classes, it is just time to like veg out and do nothing. I keep saying it, but real life, it's it. Okay guys, I forgot my camera. So, last class of the week, I vlogged Monday to Sunday. So that's 11 classes. I completely forgot to bring my camera today, so I forgot to vlog. Um, it's currently Sunday, 11.45. I'm done for the day until tomorrow at 6.30, which I love this break so much. Um, I hope I don't get copyrighted. I should probably stop. What's up guys? All right, so let's finish off this vlog. I have been living in this sweatshirt this week. I'm so sorry you saw it like every single day, but that's the way it goes. Uh, I wanted to like finish off the video with like a few like funny things that I just feel like are so true to me and true to my life as a soul cycle instructor. I wish I could have been dancing at a bar and been like, oh my God, you can do this to this song because that definitely happens or like in my car and stuff. But um, I hope this was like fun for you to watch and just like insightful, I guess, a little bit to just like a kind of a week in my life as a soul cycle instructor. Um, I absolutely love my job. You know, I've just hit like a year and a half teaching on the schedule and people, you know, like from home are still like, are you still loving it? Like, are you still like so happy? I'm like, I am, I'm so happy. And I, I think I just like know like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And like, that makes me really happy and really excited. So, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much. I know this was a long video, but I asked you guys on Instagram while I was editing it if you wanted a longer video or um, two parts, but I think it's better that it's all together just because it's one whole week. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe below. Head over to my Instagram, follow me there. The link is in the description, and I can't wait to see you guys for more vlogs. Thanks for watching. Ugh, I hate all my music. Wait for the drop. Don't want to stay up late. Don't want to go out because I have to make my playlist and wake up early. I am so hungry. I have no idea what to eat. Ugh! But I know I need to eat because I have to take care of my body. Took out some anger on the bike and it was sick. Oh cool, my friend just sent me a new song. But can you ride to it? One more day of not washing my hair. Nap. Uh, what did I just teach?